Hello and welcome to the tip of the week. Today we're going to make a film out of a floral polymer and compare the, its transmission spectrum to that of an ATR of the raw material. I got this idea from a customer of making films of these floral polymers and I've been wanting to try it and today I did. So in the lab I found some Teflon resin, it's a powder. Using our pixie press I took the seven millimeter die Put a little bit of the Teflon resin inside, inserted it into the pixie, applied 2.5 tons of force for just about a minute. And I also collected the ATR spectrum on Iris, our diamond ATR. So let's take a look at the results. Okay, the first spectrum we're gonna look at is going to be that obtained with the ATR. As you can see, it looks like Teflon. So let's add in our transmission spectrum. And now you can see we have some saturating bands, but we're also seeing a lot more information. So what these results would tell me is if you're looking for contamination or a small component within the resin, I would definitely make a film over ATR. If you're just looking to identify that it's Teflon, ATR is perfectly fine. So before I let you go, I just wanted to mention most polymers are going to need heat to make that film. And we do have the heated, pike heated platens, so that would be an option. But in the case of this Teflon fluoropolymer, it flows by itself just by applying pressure. So it's a simple way to make a film. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.